GTA 6 is one of the best-selling and most beloved video game franchises out there, and there are no secrets as to why. Grand Theft Auto has been offering gamers an outlet for psychotic tendencies since the release of the first game all the way back in 1997. Since then, the series has gone on to sell over 250 million copies and has brought controversy with it for every new offering. Don't forget to watch today's video to the very end to become privy to the top 10 GTA 6 rumors that will blow you away. But before we begin, we request you to please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload here. Having said that, let's jump right in. The first few top-down games were entertaining for their time, but by the release of 2001's Grand Theft Auto 3, we were ready to enter the realm of 3D gaming and tore up Liberty City as Claude the Mute. Vice City, San Andreas, and the duo of Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories added to the lore of the awesome crime-ridden mess that makes up this gaming franchise. The HD universe came next with the 2008 release of Grand Theft Auto 4, which took us back to Liberty City for a lot of unwelcome bowling invitations as Nico Bellic. The most recent of the series, number 5, was one of the most expensive video games ever created. The game won dozens of awards, and for every award it took home, it infuriated at least one frightened, confused activist, and was the subject of an article calling it the work of pure evil. For those who played it, we know it was incredible, but between the single-player mode and GTA Online, we're wondering, what can they do next? In this video, we are going to tell you about 10 GTA 6 rumors that are going to blow you right away. Number 10. Celebrity Voices The history of celebrity voices in Grand Theft Auto games is an interesting one. In the two games that take place in Vice City, Gary Busey was the voice of Phil Cassidy, the crazed gun nut who blows his arm off in a boonshine-related mishap. Actor Ray Liotta was the voice of Tommy Versetti. The list of celebrity guest voices goes on and on and includes James Woods, Danny Trejo, Jenna Jameson, Ice-T, Ricky Gervais, and Samuel L. Jackson. Two actors are rumored to be involved with this project, Ryan Gosling and Eva Menz. Some sources have implied that Menz will be the female protagonist and that Gosling will be her partner. They are also married in real life. We imagine that these rumors mean next to nothing, and as is the case with any creative piece of work, but the possibilities are nearly endless given the constantly improving technology involved with game creation. Number 9. United States as a full map Here is one of the reasons the game may take a while to complete. There are some whispers online about possibly making the map for this game something larger than GTA fans have seen before. Remember Vice City? Incredible game, no question, but the map was undeniably small, especially compared to San Andreas, which came out a couple of years later, offering us three cities and multiple regions of wilderness. Of course, GTA 5 offered much more of the same, with far more detail. But imagine a game that features not only San Andreas, but also Liberty City, Vice City, and maybe a few others thrown in for good measure. We've seen a few amazing maps in the past few years, including series like Fallout, Far Cry, Just Cause and The Crew, just for a few examples. But if Rockstar were to try to do something similar for GTA 6, we'd be willing to wait a bit longer. Number 8. Taking it International As most of us know, most of the Grand Theft Auto franchise has taken place in a fictionalized version of the United States. The exceptions to the rule are a pair of 1999 expansion packs released in 1996, which took us to London. Since then, the games have been all about the US of A. While the rumor that the next major installment in the series might be set outside of the United States has pretty much been laid to rest, it could happen. Don't misunderstand, it almost definitely won't, but there is always some potential for a single mission or set of missions to take place elsewhere. We do know that Rockstar employees have traveled to places including Tokyo for the purposes of possibly planning a game, and we also know that certain trademarks have been filed for game titles, including GTA Bogota and GTA Tokyo. Number 7. New Gunplay Mechanics Okay, so we'll have to admit here that this rumor is nothing new. Practically every time a new GTA game comes out, people are asking whether the tired old auto-aim and pull-the-trigger gunplay will be improved or replaced. While we love the series, it's incredible, how can you not? There is no denying that the shooting could use some freshening up. GTA 5 did a decent job of taking the existing mechanic and making it a bit more user-friendly, but at the end of the day, they polished a turd. 
they have the potential to change this, and the idea of importing some of what makes the gunplay in Red Dead Redemption so outstanding into the next GTA game has been floating around the forums for a while now. One has to imagine if the online community has thought about it, so have the magnificent minds at Rockstar. Number 6. A Fresh Timeline We already mentioned how awesome the experience of playing Vice City was, part of that was due to the Scarface theme and the iconic Miami scenery, but the feeling of living in the 1980s, between the style, music and cars, also added to how awesome this game was. On one hand, another current era game like GTA V would obviously be welcome, but one popular rumor is that the game might take place in the 1970s. Much like the 80s, this decade had a style and feel all its own, and would make for amazing gameplay. It has been suggested that GTA 6 could be a prequel to another game, possibly Vice City or Vice City Stories. But given that these are in the 3D universe, and we are now new HD, this makes no sense. Number 5. Destructible Surroundings Obviously, given that there will always be some buildings that are essential to the plot of a GTA game, a completely destructible environment might be completely unrealistic, but perhaps having some buildings crumble if you've hit them with explosives or another powerful weapon is possible. In the recent games, there have been some environmental elements that can be destroyed, but not entire buildings. The biggest concern with regard to implementing a gaming environment that can be leveled if the player wants is whether the system can handle it while also running everything else required for that game. Number 4. VR Compatibility We imagine that firefights could somewhat benefit from VR, and we can opt for a first-person view, much like what PS4, Xbox One, and PC users could do in GTA V rather than the constant third-person system. Driving would likely allow for an awesome experience, but only for those who already enjoy the experience of driving with an inside-the-car view. We imagine that the visuals, which are always pretty good in GTA games, will also look great in with VR capability. Number 3. Return to Vice City There are obvious reasons for this being an attractive idea. The most obvious of these is the fact that Vice City is one of the most fondly remembered GTA games out there. Tearing through that city as Tommy Versetti to the amazing guitar-heavy tunes of the 1980s, while essentially reenacting the greatest moments of Scarface minus getting shot in the back with a shotgun at the end was too much fun to not want another game this city. Furthermore, it makes sense to have a game in Vice, given that there are three major areas in the 3D universe. San Andreas, Liberty City, and Vice City? Liberty and San Andreas have been revisited in the HD period. Now it is time to let us loose in GTA O Miami. Number 2. One or more protagonists. Both of these rumors exist. Neither one will be proven correct until the project is much closer to completion. But for now, it is an interesting debate regarding whether the franchise should return to a single protagonist or continue with the GTA 5 model of letting us play as three of them. While anyone can come up with reasons why one is better than the other, it all comes down to taste and whatever Rockstar decides to do. We doubt anyone will be too bent out of shape over three or more protagonists. It's hard to imagine any fans of the franchise not buying this one because we have to play as one person like we did pre-GTA 5. Number 1. Female Protagonist For the purposes of that game, Rockstar's Dan Hauser said that a female protagonist wouldn't have worked for the fifth installment, but that the creative staff of the company weren't against the idea. Rockstar has consistently come under fire for featuring exclusively male protagonists and female characters with little or no substance. We could see this going either way, an awesome female main character thrown into the mix, or Rockstar keeps the male protagonist coming just to continue to infuriate those pockets of the internet that probably wouldn't buy this kind of game anyway. With that we come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel, and join in a next time for more of such interesting content.